Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is the seventh episode of my Let's Play for Fallout 4. Now, you'll see that I've spent even more time uh, making my uh, my settlement of Red Rocket nice. I've used the console to clear up the holes that the mole rats dug out of. We also now have, over here, a bathroom. And I've uh, arranged it so that there's a little bit of privacy for somebody using the tub. I've, uh, I've stuck a junk wall behind my crafting stations. Now, you'll remember that I said I wanted to do this. It's just a little bit of, of a safety increase for anybody who's crafting. Like, you don't want to craft while you're worried about somebody sneaking up on you. It's not perfect, and anybody who's sufficiently far away could easily see and kind of get you. Like, this guy's kind of in danger uh, here. Not much, but it's something. But it's, it is something. Um, the stairs up here, I've extended them a little bit. I keep on trying to put a step, la a step ladder to get up onto the roof, but it's, uh, I never can get it quite positioned right, so I'm still working on that. Also stuck some benches here for people to, uh, sit down and relax, and I'm actually going to do that to bring us to daylight now. So let's wait for 11 hours. I think around 7.30, the, uh, things get bright enough for, like, good, uh, video recording. Um... In this episode, I have two goals. I would like to go uh, visit the library, and I would like to go and uh, visit Cambridge. And both of those uh, should be pretty doable. We have some good light out. Um, I guess uh, a, a another thing which I've done actually, just before I go, I've laid out some carpeting and tried to turn this place into something that feels a little bit more like a bedroom that somebody would actually like to live in. I mean, you'll notice with the bathrooms I was trying to do that too. I've also raised the other machine gun turret here up onto the roof of the Red Rocket, so that I was able to get rid of the structure here that was just holding that thing up, now that it's relatively doable to get up there. So yeah, things are looking more secure and nice here. We still only have uh, three settlers, but if we end up rescuing any more, then we'll redirect them here, probably. So we do have a few other settlements that uh, we could send them to, like Sunshine uh, Tidings. But for various reasons, we're not really trying to fill out all our settlements uh, too much yet. So to go, again, the things that we're trying to do today, I want to do Semper Invicta, which the, the second task after the library is that we're going to go do some Brotherhood of Steel quests. We're not going to have a lot of time to do Brotherhood of S Steel stuff because of how I intend to play this character. But we'll do at least a few because it's a good way to get some extra MP and do exploring at the same time. So off we go. <clears throat> I'm hoping that I remember to get a decent lock picking skill with, uh, with this character. If not, we'll actually have to go in the, uh, the sneaky way, and that's kind of dangerous, but it's at least pretty entertaining to try. Okay, so here we are at the library. Can we pick this? Can pick this? <laughs> no. Welcome to the Boston Public Library. I'm more here. here. Let, Let me in. in. Yes, right. My ID number is, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's always a little bit risky, particularly when you're recording a video, uh, to try some of those statistical things, but it worked out in my favor that time. So here we are in the library. The automated defenses should be friendly to us. Oh. Oof. We hit a trap. And we're going to return some books. For 
for now, we're not going to get any of the rewards, and we're going to wait for Codsworth to be healthy again. But, there's quite a lot to loot here. There's also some other guests that will be uh, showing up. So we're going to be a very careful explorer here. There's also some traps, I believe. You probably didn't notice, or yeah, you wouldn't have noticed, but I, I did quite a lot of inventory management before I came here to make sure that I have the room to actually do a whole lot of proper looting. And so, keep on grabbing all the good stuff that will really help us do cool things with our uh, settlement. The interesting thing uh, about about this is that there are a whole bunch of different, I guess species is the right word, or at least types of organisms that uh, that loot all these runes, and they're not actually all trying to get the same stuff. Protect and serve. So yeah, it, the Protectrons are friendly because we convinced the library security system that we're an employee. There is an upstairs, but you can't go there. So it might as well not really exist. It's really more there in the story than it is in the game. Okay, let's keep on looting. It doesn't really make sense that there would be this kind of junk in most of the filing cabinets, at least not in the library. In a museum, you could kind of imagine this. But it really doesn't make sense uh, for most of these things to be in a library. Protect and serve. And it's a little bit easy to get lost. Now we're probably getting near the point where things are going to get interesting. But in a second, we're going to find, I suspect, actually, let's get ready. I've played this game enough to... Oh, that's interesting. I would have... I would have kind of expected... Maybe I'm misremembering. Very carefully. Uh, uh, there they are. There are some nice traps. We're very careful. We can get some nice grenades out of this. And a little bit of experience for disarming stuff. Okay, well this did not go even remotely like I expected. But that is perfectly alright. I kind of... Uh, I had misremembered and I thought that there would be a whole bunch of super mutants invading. But apparently that's not the case. So, in we go. Let's keep on doing our looting. Our hide for looting. It's terrible. You would not believe how this place set us all mighty Protect and serve. I suppose that one possible explanation for why things are the way they are in here is that some people had lived in the library before. Two words. That's nothing in uh, nothing in common. W O R D S. Story is possible. Yep. Nothing I need to do there because they're already friendly. Not need to grab a burnt book, and burnt books are pretty much useless. Yeah, you can possibly expect someone will have settled here and stocked it up, and maybe like entire generations of people have lived in the library and defended it, 
and then lost it for one reason or another. Protect and serve. Quite a lot of good stuff. Maybe we won't actually be in any excitement after all. Attention! Security breach near I am wrong. Visitors and employees are her health here. Maybe things are chilling out. Oh, probably haven't uh, quite cleared the place, but we're progressing nicely. It's kind of interesting that after all these generations of, uh, or after all this long, after 200 years, nobody has taken out um, all these robots, and that they're still in good working order. I guess people could have prepared them. Okay. Yeah, we're actually taking some damage. Here. Hmm. That should heal us all the way back up. is the excitement that I was expecting. And we seem to have gotten what we came here for, or at least the excitement part of it. There is a reason that I came here, though, and that throughout Fallout 4 are bobbleheads that give you a permanent stat increase. Normally you don't need to be super excited about them because in the game, you can keep spending attribute points that you get by leveling up to get those increases. But I'm already above the maximum uh, intelligence that you're supposed to be able to get. And so this is really my only chance to keep pushing that up to a final level of ridiculousness. Okay. on getting our stuff. I think we're probably almost done scavenging. And now we're finally over the maximum 
weight limit, but it took us a nicely long period of time to get there. And I think we can just have Cotsworth carry the rest of our stuff. Hey. We will pa pass all of our unwanted junk to Cosworth. There we go. Now we're able to walk at normal speed again. We can proceed into the back room of this library uh, area here. Let's quickly... Aha. Uh -huh. That, I think, is useful in pressing further back. So yeah, I think this is a sign that somebody did live here. And we just can't... I, I think we have to assume that uh, that person, he or she, ended up fixing up the robots uh, here, just because otherwise it's just a little bit implausible for them to still be working this late, this late after their operational lifespan. Sleeping bags. And here it is, intelligence bubble heads. So now if we go and look at our stats, we will see that we have an intelligence of 12, which is above the normal max. It's too above the normal max, but we did those combination of tricks, and the nice thing about this is that you get a permanent bonus to gaining experience. And we're going to just grabbing stuff. Bottle cap mines are super useful, but mostly later in the game. Hey. We're going to oh. pass more junk to Codsworth, which is not going to put us under. But that is going to put us under, and I don't think there's anything more we need in here. Oop. Silver pocket watch. Alright, we're looking good. So that's it for the library. Um, it is a pity that you can't construct a settlement in, in the library. There are probably uh, some mods that do it. But it's, it seems like it would be a natural place for you to want to build a settlement because the entrance and exit is quite restricted. There's plenty of room. There's a little gardeny area in the middle here. Let's, I'll go and show it to you. You could imagine, like, planting food in here. Just everything is perfect for this to be a, a, a settlement. But, oh well. Can't, uh, suppose this is why there's so many mods to, just because no single, you wouldn't expect anybody to be, like, smart enough to know, like, to have all of the, uh, the right insights for a game. Which is why it's so nice when they're extensible. Keep on grabbing vases. And we're going to exit here through a means that we did not enter uh, in. But it's perfectly reasonable to, uh, to come in this way if you can't manage to get by the door. You will see down here. Ordinarily, you don't see uh, too many uh, public facilities where you enter or leave them through the subway. Well, but you sometimes see it. Well, fortunately, Cotsworth was there to catch that. Okay, and I'm going to drop this just in case he gets by contour to give him a little gift to remember us by. Come on. Okay, here he comes. We just back off. And he will probably 
Probably. Am I not? There we go. Now we will go and the job. There's some nuclear material, which is actually, I think, a little bit of a better, uh, better value to carry around than if you manage to kill them before they explode and you get the mini nuke that they were carrying, which is nice as a weapon if you intend to use the uh, use, uh, if you intend to be firing nukes as a way to fight. But uh, the thing is, if you let it explode and then you end up carrying around the nuclear material then that gives you a very nice uh, material to uh, construct some of the nicer power plants in the game that you might end up using for your settlements. And I'm really interested in settlements, so I would prefer the exploded material. It's kind of a pity that you can't convert, uh, you can't convert that kind of ammo into Yeah, you can't convert the ammo into that. I wonder if this is the way up. I might have gotten a little turned around, but... Yeah, I don't think we came down this way. Hope not. Because watching somebody get lost a lot is probably not... Okay, yeah, this is leading me outside. It's where I'd like to be. So, out we go. Come on. Yep, so we are outside. It's a little bit dangerous to be popping in or out of these places because there can be... take out this ghoul just because I feel like it. I can't really see the ghoul, but... security. That would be really unfortunate because it takes them a while to, uh, to chill out after you accidentally attack them. Okay, this puts us again slightly under. We're good. So yeah, we have successfully made it outside. And we're going to go and drop off our stuff. That was Boston Public Library. Next on our agenda is some more ghoul hunting, and we're going to do it by visiting the, uh, going back to Cambridge, uh, to the Cambridge Police Station and joining Fourth River to Steel. And it is again evening, which is not a particularly great time. To show off Fallout, so I'm going to I'm going to see if I can advance time to morning. There we go. I feel a little bit bad for that settler that had to not use uh, their bed because I was using it, but that is okay. Where did Codsworth go? There he is. Heads up. I will take all the junk back drop it and all of the weapons and armor that I picked up into this. And you guys will not need to see that. Twelve boards, ordinarily a pretty silly thing to carry around, but... Oh. Uh, oh, it's a pipe sniper, uh, sniper rifle. Okay, not quite so useful. Generally, all the things that you see with pipes 
their, um, oh no, this is a proper sniper rifle. And we have 169 ammo. We're not going to use this yet, but in the future we will. Um, I usually do quite a lot of uh, sniping later in the game. Uh, And we're going to drop this off, I think. Yeah, because 308, it's one of the sniper ammos. And I want to stop using it, just so that I still have some when the time comes to begin my sniping period. Okay. And drop off a lot of this stuff. I always drop off my Nuka Cola. Alright, down to 82. That's not too bad. We can drop off our burnt stuff because it's useless. Okay, so we are ready to go back out there. And what we're going to do is... Oh, I've never been to Daisy. Okay. We're going to go to the, um, back to the Cambridge Police Station and join up with the Brotherhood of Steel. Mm -hmm. Someone went through a great deal of trouble to qualify as a player. Yes, but they didn't do such a good job. Not enough turrets. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Hey, Ellen, Reese. It's, it's time, time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. team. She, she shows, shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think she has the potential of becoming one of the best. Okay. Thanks. I, I promise, promise not, not to let you down. down. You don't you have, have to prove anything, anything else to me. me. Getting, Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided, decided to stay, stay huh? huh? I expected, I expected you to take your pain and run. run. I... Got, got tired, tired wandering, wandering along. along. Too bad. Too bad. I, was I was getting used to the thought of you leaving. Reese, that's, that's enough. enough. Like, like it or not, not you're, you're going to have. And you, you, you Egon, we're, we're not soldiers of fortune. We're, we're an army. army. And if, if you, you intend, intend to stay with them, you going to teach me this cover? If you are paying attention in art, the rest will become apparent. Now, since I know you're eager, I only ask for two things. You fall in line, you stay in line. Now, now, before, before I, release I release you to hit right. from this, this moment, moment forward, forward, this is only a training ring. Thank, Thank you. Thanks are necessary. Add Victoria in the shit. She doesn't even know what that means, Aylin. Add Victoria. Sure. In our eyes, defeat is in our rally cry. It's more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Well, that's Remember. a little bit silly. Now, I need, I need you to report to Aylin. Now, you can do one or the other, but usually it makes sense hey. to do both. All right, All right out, out with it. it. What's, What's your, your game? Game? I can usually size people up at a glance, but you're not a military type, so I can't figure out why you're sticking around. The Brotherhood might be the best. Well, uh, as far as reasons go. Look, but if you step out of line with any of my members. So, ready for your assignment, hero? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most. I'm talking about mutants. This op is simple. All the details you need don't come back. Okay. So they usually want to get these in pairs and do both of them. Are we still giving you the cold shoulder? I can handle it. If you could, you'd be the first. Reese bleeds, Brotherhood. If anything else comes into the. Suits me fine. Just give Reese some time. So? Are you, Are you ready, ready to take, take on, on your first, first assignment? assignment? Ready. Ready. Great. 
One of the Brotherhoods. I have a list of locations. Here, this should be good luck. All right. So we are ready. Quit screwing around and get out there. Now, the reason that you want to get both of them, and this is uh, in kind of a bug that came up, or at least probably in an unintended, not quite an unintended feature, but it's possible for the uh, for the game to generate uh, these quests because they're uh, they're not they're not generated by humans. So, like th these are. Uh, basically go to one of a set of random items or one of a set of random areas and it gives you a goal there. But the problem is that uh, the areas might be in distant places that you don't have a way to get to yet. So you want to be careful. I'm sorry, you, you, you want to Keep in mind that it very well could ask you to go to somewhere that you're not going to be able to go to. And it eventually will if you keep doing it enough, just kind of based on how statistics work. Oh, there's another one. Perfect play conflicts. Got it. So off we go. We are, I think, heading down into here just to clear out foes. And again, we're in an area that's not particularly well lit. It's super helpful. Mom, do proceed carefully here. Uh -huh. It's super helpful here that you do have a flashlight on your arm, uh, essentially. But it would be nice if the game just weren't quite so dark. Ooh! Oh, that was a terrible lack of being careful. Oh well. Down we go, and we are reminded that there are traps all over the game. There is... Oh, over there. Uh, let me use a little bit of a second. It is pretty handy that you can just pick those things up. It's very handy that with the uh, with the mines, A, they'll never hurt you, and B, you can just pick them up and drop them again uh, some other time if, uh, if you don't end up using them. So use them liberally. I think mines are one of the better uh, items in the game for just contro uh, controlling your territory. Uh, let's see. A little bit more? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Usually the game tries to reward you with um, something in each bathroom, which is kind of a, a weird rule to have, but you really can count on it. So it probably was a rule that they... Uh, probably a rule that they had when designing these maps. It looks like raiders used to live here, and then something went very wrong. It's uh, a teddy bear. Gives you a little bit of fabric. I think more broadly, the game does try to make it worth your while to explore. But it just you can count on that even more so with uh, with bathrooms than you can otherwise. Goofy, but okay. We keep on scooping up everything we can. Eventually, we'll have to start offloading the Tom's worth again. But no way I can pick this. 
There are stairs over there, there are stairs over here. There's a door that I cannot open. great way to survive most situations if you're well on enough. And you still get some good XP from doing that. Oh, there is... Ooh, ouch. Okay, we've taken uh, enough damage that we have to be careful again. The combination of that mine. Oh, and that's what happened. There, there was a, uh, a gas canister there, and the mine uh, ignited that. Okay, some more goodies. Mining helmets might have built-in flashlights, which is kind of helpful unless you're trying to be sneaky. In which case, it's pretty anti-helpful. very nice later in the game when you have uh, have the perks that let you still move reasonably fast while you're encumbered. Wow. I'd like to be careful of traps. But I'm not sure how many more there might be. Yeah, this definitely was a was some kind of a settlement, but it looks like it might have been a raider settlement. Rifles, other all sorts of other good stuff. Let's keep grabbing everything we can because we're not yet too close to our limit. why being able to fire rapidly is pretty nice. You kind of feel that the, the ghouls might not have been here too long. And that if those bodies are still around and the ghouls are still gnawing on them. Oh, I think I see you with my little eye. Oh, I, I am out of uh, fragments. I do have molotovs. Let's get ready to use them and carefully advance and be ready to toss sweet it's a good thing the ghouls are so dumb like they're, they're just perfectly happy to walk right into flames and they'll take damage and they'll be nice and weak. 
by the time you show up. I'm not sure if these flames are going to go out or not. Yes, I do still have my, my light on. But I'm not terribly worried about... about these guys approaching me, because so far they're not particularly dangerous. Okay. Looking good. Oh, ah, this little medical room. I'm really not sure what, what use a room for this... Or, what use a room like this would be. Maybe just for like changing clothes. Because presumably conductors, just like everybody else, they don't wear their conductor stuff all the time. So I would guess that, that those facilities are there for them to change in and out of their regular work clothes. Let's see if we can open this now with our key. Yep. Is there anything back here we have to worry about? I don't see anything. Nice. Oh, that's kind of useful. Most of the skill books in the game are not super useful, but being sort of useful is good enough. Yeah, so that is... Well, where is exit? I think it's over here. That's one of these uh, quests done. You can get a nice chunk of XP for this, which will help you, uh, get you closer to the next level. But while we're while we're out, it often makes sense. Let's see how we doing on in inventory? We're kind of close to full. But on the other hand, the uh, yeah, Cambridge is just absolutely full of these things. Camp annoying. Cambridge would be another place that would be interesting if you could set up a settlement there, although I can imagine there's probably a pretty good in-game reason that is ghouls being absolutely everywhere, that, that you can't do it. And maybe you could make an argument that that's, that that's a uh, good reason why you can't do it in the library, like if super mutants know about of uh, the place and are kind of interested in being there, then you might be a little nervous about actually setting up roots uh, in the area. There we go. Emptied out our stuff. It's Codsworth, but it's good enough. going. Come on. Yes. Not bad. Oh, and there are steps up further. And we can see... I well, looks like they want. Because they're dead. But yeah, it looks like people have tried to, uh, to live here before and it didn't work. So yeah, that's that's actually probably a pretty decent reason not to try and do it here. Although some of the places that the settlements are in the game are really ridiculous. Just in terms of how exposed they are. So you just see some of them and you think, there's no way that I would ever 
want to try to live here, even if, like, super mutants or ghouls, they're frequent visitors of the rest, but there's no way that you should feel secure in it in the other ones. Okay, so we would like to go to the Jelpert Brothers' disposal. And it is this one. So, off we go. Looks like there was a ghoul there, and raiders, they probably fought. And... Oh. Definitely a, re a reason to always be ready to run. Oh. Yeah, when there are mines near cars, it's kind of exciting. You don't want to be part of that excitement, though. You ideally would like to see it from afar. Don't mind if I do. So this is interesting. It looks like some military supplies of various sorts are just lying here on the road. Save the game just in case. Looks like this is a mini red rocket. Just for coolant, I guess. Looks like they, uh, they don't sell fuel in that red rocket. Okay, we're getting kind of close to whatever's going on up here. Let's go into sneak mode just in case. And we would like to see there's more rats up ahead. Okay. It's like there's quite a lot of them. So this is a guy who has scissors. Child of Adam Long Brown Rags. Interesting. So if there's more rats, we would like to be able to get the high ground because they're incredibly... I get nervous around uh, the more rats in the game. They do a good enough job to... at just instinctually freaking me out that my solution is to make it so they just can't get at me. Although it looks like they can manage to make it up here, they just don't have a very easy time with it. Sasquatch is taking care of some of it. Yeah, you definitely want to get the high ground and to camp out up there while you take care of these guys. If you're the sort to freak out when you see those things, and I am. Like, it's not a complete freak out. Like, I'm not going to get all spazzy, but it just, it makes me nervous. So I would just kind of prefer not to experience that. Now, the Children of Adam, they're a weird, goofy cult from Fallout 3. They kind of worship uh, radio, uh, radioactivity. And they are in this game, and they're kind of dangerous in this game. Well, not just kind of dangerous, they are they are dangerous in this game. Okay, so the thing that we're looking for is in there. You can kind of see a, a chest. A nice bottle cap mine. Nice workbench to work on armor. You can oh, see... Yeah. There we go. So, we've gotten a nice thing on the map. We've bought some kind of trivial foes, but, but freaky foes. And, and we're going to get some nice experience when we turn this stuff in. I think we also spotted... There it is. Okay. If we see that uh, you see this kind of little truck with rainbows coming out of it icon, that's another settlement. And generally, when you're near one of these, it's just nice to pop by and stick it on your map. You don't have to do anything with it. You can do that later. But most of, there's a whole lot of interesting stuff that happens. Okay, we now have Grey Garden on our map. 
We're not going to actually go into it, but we're just going to swing back by the Cambridge Police Station and turn in these quests. Now this depicted here is a uh, rocket launcher that has room for four rockets in it so that you don't have to reload as often. It's kind of a fun weapon. Uh, the problem with the rocket launcher in general is just keeping your, uh, keeping enough ammo for it. But if you're able to do that, then it's actually an enormously fun way to play the game. Move that bucket. Oh, you guys are asleep. You guys should sleep too. 9 p.m. I think waking up at 7.34 p.m. makes sense. I kind of wonder if uh, in the apocalypse it would make sense to keep take it, take it it that kind of schedule in uh, Affirmative. That's that's right here. here. Yeah, yeah. 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 report, report to Paladin Dance. Dance. He said he, he had, had a mission for you. you. When you're ready, ready for another drop, you know where to find me. Hey there. Just when I thought you were gone for good. I take it you're ready for another mission? I'm ready. Good. Details are on your map. Report back. Okay. Again, you want to just keep on doing these quests. Scribe. How's that search going? Were you able to find him? There it is. Good. I was hoping there's still plenty of Let me know if you're Affirmative. All right. You've got the area on. A lot of people complained about... ...about Preston Garvey. Or Garvey. Locating the artifact can be just as dangerous as bringing it back. Can't afford to have it break during retrieval. Welcome back. I've got another mission. Ready. Outstanding. Over the years. The last squad. I'm sorry. Don't be. And if we should fall, we have a response. All right. I'll see. They're in search point. Monitor your radio distress signal. If you can acquire it. Okay, there's a third quest. That one is not getting any safer when you hang around the police station. Excuse me, sir. Get going. We're running a little low on meds and stims. Be sure you use another supply run. Yeah, so the recon patrol quest, it's just kind of a long-term and kind of annoying quest. But it doesn't hurt to have it. We're gonna level up. So we're gonna do locksmith. Just because it's we get locked out of too much stuff. Um, oh, we could take it up to up one more level. Um, if uh, next time we level up, but we're also going to uh, see where do these things end up on the map? Oh, so there we go. One of them is. One of these quests we're not going to be able to advance for quite a long time uh, because it's off the map. It's in one of the um, the DLC areas. But the Super Duper Mart, it's actually not too far uh, from us. It's a place where we certainly could get to. So we'll, we will be able to continue that quest line. But it's probably a, a little more important that we drop off our stuff. And it can be nice to keep on filling out our map to, uh, so that when we do more meaningful quests, we won't have to do a whole lot of walking to get there. Anyhow, I think we're actually going to cut this, uh, this video off here, because I have enough, uh, stuff here to do some, uh, some more settlement work, and I'm also going to do some improving of my weapons, and I don't think it really makes sense to do those more sedate tasks as part of the video, but I will show off, as usual, what I've done with the place in the meantime. So, this has been the seventh episode of my Let's Play for uh, Fallout, uh, Fallout 4, and I will see you in the eighth.